Hello everyone, this is Anna from 8 Bytes and welcome to another episode of Witcher 3 Walkthrough. Today we shall speak to Dandelion's multiple girlfriends. Today is going to be Marabella, Molly and Rosa Vanatre. Let's speak to Marabella. Well, this is an RCS. Where is Marabella? Mara no, this is me. And this is oh oh oh, put that thing away. Uh, these days, brained, all of them. <sighs> oh, and I've changed my outfit to be a prince charming now. I'm so pretty. Now let's speak. Why is he on his knees? Oh, he's not on his knees. He's on his knees, or is it dwarf? I don't know. He's cutting F. It's a bug! Oh no, this is Molly, this is not Marabella. Whatever. Who do you favor, my lady? I favor you! I can't decide between the Black Stallion and the Grey Mare. Keep going back and forth, back and forth. Sorry, don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? Well... Uh, yeah... Ah, come on. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't be here if not for Dandelion. <laughs> Told me all about your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed the Cairn by playing his lute. Yeah. I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. Ever since I became mm. Lady Latard, it's been nothing but balls, banquets, and other such... What's it? Congregations. Awful tiring. But, <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. Sister. I'm under the impression Dandelion thinks you still serve the lavalettes. Oh, that's because I never told him I stopped. Didn't want him to treat me any different. And your husband has nothing against it? Your old friendship. Of course not. <laughs> Sweetikins couldn't be happier that Dandelion's raising me sophistication. Sophistication. Last conversation. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. <laughs> what? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise to <laughs> the canals by the light of the moon. God said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles and he'd sing me arias but I've not seen him sing I wonder why <laughs> you do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister sure he does saw him himself funny she don't look like him at all blonde for starters maybe they're different fathers mm-hmm different mothers too <laughs> maybe <laughs> Maybe. But you could see he what cares for her, looks after her, <coughs> the way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. <laughs> oh well, goodbye. Thanks, Molly. Wait, before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. Oh, naive little bitch. <laughs> oh, he's such a nice girl. And you are still at work. 
come on. Let's split. Sick. Sick of it. Get so now I'm going to talk to Marabella, I think. Let me see the quests. Yes. Let's go and speak to the sister. <laughs> sister, fuck. Return to Novigrad on your own or with Boris. Oh. Should I go? Take it easy. Maybe I should go to Boris. At first he seemed like an asshole, let's see if he's nicer. At least he gave me saddles. Oh, there he is. Oh shit, shit, come on. You can jump, you can jump, you can jump. You can jump, but you can't walk. Hey! Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Yes. Yeah. Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. Novigrad! And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. Okay, now I'm going to talk to... the sister. To Marabella! Oh no. Oh, she's very clear. The witch hunters of burnt Erebus are still. Now we need to find more eccentric than anyone. The only thing. No. Oh, fuck. I'm right in now. Why does this tell me to go through here? Oh, maybe the entrance is. The other way. Is it this door? Oh. I guess it is. Oh. Okay. Excuse me, I'm looking for Marabella. I am she. Wait outside, class is in session. Oh, she's a teacher. I'll wait, of course. I'll wait. It won't take long. It turns out he'll not come after all. Why not? A rat bit him, and he's caught a fever. Where'd he get bit? It hurt him much. Will he die? Don't die from rats, stupid. Yes, you do. Just the other day, I saw a witch hunter tell a man, "You rat," and then he killed him. <laughs> Liar! That's enough. We're done for the day. Are these the Don't little boys like from Witch Beck Brook, well. or whatever the name was? Mum says it's in the searches because he can swallow as good as in the grave. Or maybe they all look alike. Hello, Marabella. Now can we talk? Yes. What do you want? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh, yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. Maybe... 
No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. <sighs> Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercise is true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up! A snakely whip rose skyward. Gee haw! Crack! She reined the beast in. The stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lather bathed its chinny chin chin. Sorry, don't know much about uh. poetry. Okay. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Okay, farewell then. I know Thanks nothing. Farewell. Fuck. Now what? My last chance, Rosa Varatre. Who was the blonde woman? The the sister. I can't go through here. Jeez. Well, at least she's from around. Ah! Sorry, old woman. Uh, can I go in? Shit. What do you want? The new cook. Wanna see Rosa Varatra? Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. Oh shit. Now what? The mage hunters will tend to do yet. They have to kick their asses. Maybe through here? Oh, 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 oh. Shit. Hmm, maybe I can. What happened here? Hello? Love letter. Interesting. Love letter. Let me read it. My darling Rosa. Oh, poor guy. From the first moment I set eyes upon you, that fateful evening at the Vegelbuds, my heart has only beaten for you. I can't eat or sleep. My master threatened to terminate my apprenticeship. And I don't even know if you remember me. Albert Fegelbutt introduced us near the roasted cap'n table. I happened to be eating one when I saw you. It 
it stuck in my throat and I started to choke, what the fuck? And you laughed. Oh, how sweetly, how brightly you laughed! <laughs> that marvelous sound still fills my ears to this day. And I live in the hope that I will be given a chance to hear it once more. I beg you, meet with me. Even if just for a moment, just for a second, I will wait by the well in Gildorf every day at dusk. If you care for the life of a poor lad fallen hopelessly in love with you, take pity and come. Do not torture me with eternal waiting. Your truly devoted admirer, Gilbert Blith. Ah. Oh. That's what you get. That's what you get. Poor Gilbert died waiting. You fancy men like me, whole town's going on about ah. it. So no point playing hard to get, sugar. Where is she? It's Lady Varatra to you, and I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss, before I report this to Papa. It's locked. Fuck. Oh oh oh. Well, hello, oh, the sister. I'm guessing. Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Of course, of course. Uh, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? Yes. What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. My new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But my lady, he's a witcher! Said so himself, back by the gates. Captain, do you truly believe Rosa Bar Artra would train with random clods calling themselves swordmasters? No. The Var Artras demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him to the training room. Now. There you go. As you say, miss. As you say, miss. Well. <laughs> Sorry about that, Captain. Don't you realize what you've got yourself into? I hope so, too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Yeah, Shows I can't no see mercy that. once she whips a sword. Oh shit. Grab a wooden one. And take care not to hurt the little miss. Or you'll earn the ambassador's ire. Are you kidding me? A wooden sword? Fuck. Follow me. I will, I will. Well, she's already. You're my new instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Papa. Wood to start with. I must know your work. <laughs> he has his knickers out. The other way around, Geralt. It's the other way around. than the last one. A 
I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Again? Didn't we just talk? Jesus. Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes. In the garden. So, what was it you said? Why are you here? What the fuck? Before I ask, gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer. Don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know. Terrible habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so. But... Don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. I mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. Oh, come on. She comes. You're quick. Why bother with two swords when you can barely oh. handle one? Fuck. You are kinking my arse, milady. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? <laughs> Gladly. Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? Are there twins? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Va'atra, the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden. <laughs> of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Yes. Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. <laughs> Take it Dandelion did too. On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. But conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. <laughs> He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Easy, ladies. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? 
Afraid I've more sense than that. Hmm. Who'd Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman. Not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta oh, ask Zoltan not... about this Kalonetta. I just ask these two ones. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored, she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? You needn't pretend he followed convention. Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. I should go. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Oh. Well, Two for can one. I expect any more lessons in future? I'll give you a lesson. Here and when. Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. <laughs> saw me getting undressed. Oh, she's there. I was going to loot. Nice armor. Let me see just what's in here. I'm gonna leave before you stab me to death. Goodbye, Rosa. Let's speak to Zoltan about that poetry, 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 whatever. Civilization ends oh, where should I go? Oh, through here. It's raining. Get out of my way. Gonna turn into a gremlin. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry. Training cats and dogs. Why is everybody running away? It's the rain. Ah, yes, the rain. Ah, uh, Zoltan. I'm very tired. Monsieur Zoltan, the old bum. What's this? Only even. Oh, so cute! Naughty bum. Hello! Save They are the same size. You're back! You're back! Right, Poppy? She wants to stop talking any day now. Poppy! <laughs> uh, yeah. Zoltan, venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure, you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwentwell in no time. 
But we're about to talk about dandelion. Yep. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Not really. You first. Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much a note. He wasn't staying with any of them. Not seen hide nor hair of him in ages. All I learned was a few of Dandelion's pickup lines. Dubious worth. What about that girl? Hmm. Think I might have something better. What are you waiting for? Let's rub at it! Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. <laughs> that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Priscilla. It's Priscilla. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more. Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. Hmm. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced oh. to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This will be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. <laughs> well, now I have to go and listen to poetry. That's rich. I love poetry. I hate poetry. <laughs> oh, it's clear the eternal form. Hello! <laughs> Hello, tiny man! Almost there! Almost there! Oh. Another burp! Oh, I'm guessing it's downstairs. Oh, a drunk. Great. Where's Priscilla? I'm here. Please give me some poetry, Priscilla. I can't wait. <laughs> Maybe in the next episode. She's not here yet. Please leave a thumbs up and click in the subscribe button to see more poetry.